What's the deal, y'all? Now, today I'm going to talk about what I dislike most about playing basketball overseas and what a lot of other players dislike the most about playing overseas. And this is particularly talking about Europe because it's where I see it happen most through my experience and just talking to other guys. Um, and that is receiving salaries late. It is not uncommon to get your monthly salary days late, weeks late, months late sometimes. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but I promise, man, it happens. And I don't know if Europeans or people that work in Europe receive their uh, monthly sal salaries late like regular employees, but I know coming from, from where I'm from, America, we're not used to that and we think the day that we that our contract says we are supposed to get paid <laughs> is the day that we're supposed to get paid. And it's not the case at all, man. Um, it's only been a few teams, maybe one or two teams that I've played on. I think one that's given me every check. Yeah, that's given me every check on time on the day that I'm supposed to get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard, man, to for me, you know what I'm saying, to go to practice every day and you know what I mean? Practice the, as hard as I, I possibly can and be focused when I'm thinking about um, why haven't they paid me my money? You feel me? Especially I had a team. I don't know if you watched the video. Um, my first season professionally, I had a team didn't pay me or not pay me the whole season, basically. So for me, man, once a team get like three, four days late, man, I start getting nervous. You feel me? And. I know I was talking to a lot of other guys. Um, it's hard for, for, for you to focus, man, and, and, and be 100% locked into the team when you just don't know when you're going to get your money. You feel me? And it's kind of funny because the GM and the managers and the owners sometimes will walk by you, say hi to you, like nothing's, you know what I mean, like nothing's happening. Like they don't owe you money like payday wasn't two weeks ago. And it's just weird, man. And it's something that I've try to adjust to and just know that that's the culture of overseas basketball but I still don't <laughs> don't take it too well and I, I let it be known man and that's the best thing I can tell y'all man the best advice I can give players is if you're not comfortable with it um, and you think it's like hurting your game and it's hurting your focus and it's shit making you lose sleep at night uh, let the team know you feel me? And I found that this to be, I found that this letting the team know um, has helped me and actually has helped a, a lot of my teammates, the teams that I've been on, me expressing myself and talking to the GM and whoever I had to talk to um, helped us get our payments um, on time or a lot closer than the date than we were getting in previous months, you feel me? So that's the best thing you can do, man, is speak up and don't let it, and don't let the team to think that you don't care, that you're not worried about your your payment. And if you do that and you not and you don't say anything, you feel me? They will take advantage of that, bro. And you will con uh, con continuously see your <laughs> your your checks become later and later throughout the season, man. And once you get to the end of the season. Um, now you at home in the summer and you calling these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Now they have no obligation to you. They have to pay you, but um, you have no obligation to them. You don't have to play anymore. So they don't really, you're not a priority anymore. So they basically going to pay you when they want to, you feel me? And that's not the position you want to be in at all, man, because a lot of people have families. A lot of people have houses, cars, things they need to pay in the summer as well. You feel me? So you got to make sure that, you stay on top of that, bro, and not let teams get comfortable with paying you late, man, every month. You feel me? Maybe one month, two months. I know sponsors or whatever, but not the whole season because once you get to the end of the season, and if they're a month or two months behind and you go home, bro, you don't want to be in that position. You feel me? And I know a lot of people, um, a lot of agents put in their players' contracts that if teams are uh, – a certain amount of days late that you can cut the contract you feel me and be free and 
take all the money that the team owe you for the rest of the season. You feel me? So if your agent is not doing that, make sure he does that and make it a, a good, a respectable amount, amount of days. You feel me? Like two weeks, a week. You feel me? Just to put some pressure on the teams when they start um, to become late. Even if you don't want to leave, you know what I mean? It's a good situation. Still, you have to um, put some pressure on them sometimes, bro, because um, people have obligations, you know what I mean? Just because we professional basketball players and people say it's not a real job, you know what I mean? That's how we eat and that's how we take care of ourselves and our families, you feel me? So, yeah, man, that's just something that I want to come here and talk about for the people that's Never played overseas. People that don't know too much about overseas, you going overseas is something that you can expect, and just something that you can do to um, not let it happen as often. You feel me? Not let it get too bad. It's things you can do. You feel me? So I appreciate everybody that tuned into the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a comment. Any questions, man? I got y'all. I appreciate y'all, and I'm out.